Hello and welcome back to part five. So we are going to finally crack on with one of the boiler rooms, the first of six. It's actually boiler room six, this one. Um, but before you go through the doorway, just grab a pressure plate and place it down here. And then place an iron door so that bit's sorted. Now in, in this bit we uh, we got you to place the outline for the all up deck and um, we actually shouldn't have done because it shouldn't be there in this section so we're just going to start off by taking that out. I hope you're uh, enjoying these tutorials so far um, and that you're not encountering any issues. So far we've not had any comments about people being stuck so that's a good sign. Um, I would just like to take the time to say that uh, if you are doing this interior and you plan on doing a video for your YouTube channel, um, me and William would really appreciate it if you credited us in that video because it would be quite annoying if someone tried to make out like this was their design after all the time that we put into it. Um, so just a little bit of credit would be appreciated. Thank you very much. So now we're going to do the side walls. Um, we chose quartz blocks for this, uh, but it is entirely up to you. You don't have to use the exact blocks that we use. If you prefer the look of something else, uh, feel free to change it up a little bit. Um, text me back to what I was saying about if you make a video for your YouTube channel, it would also be interesting to see if anyone's made any slight changes to any of the designs. So that would be good to see. Um, but this isn't, I think this is only going up to the, where the red bit stops. It doesn't go all the way up to the next deck because this is going to be like um, a bit of a platform. So yeah, you want to be stopping it about there. And it's exactly the same on this side. Um, now you might have this issue as well um, where there's a bit of an opening when you take this red bit out to make it flat for the wall. Um, I know it's only a slight change on uh, the exterior that Rich LaRousse did but just fill that in with red it won't even be noticeable from the outside. And then just bring your wall up like you did on the other side. I am really happy with how well this tutorial is doing so far. Um, I mean, when I first started doing YouTube back in 2017, um, I didn't really have a clue what I was doing or what direction I was going to go in. I tried all sorts of different things, uh, a bit of Fortnite, a bit of this, a bit of that. I even did a full walkthrough for Final Fantasy VII, the original game. Um, but YouTube saturated with Final Fantasy VII, so I didn't expect it to do too great. I mostly did it for myself, to be fair, because um, I've always loved that game. And if I was ever going to do a walkthrough, it was always going to start with that one. Um, but Minecraft seems to be the one that does the best on my channel, so I think I'm just going to stick with it, to be honest. I never thought I'd be doing a tutorial like this one day anyway, that's for sure. So you've got your, both your walls up now. So you're going to come to this doorway, uh, get smooth stone, if you wanted to use the same block as us, and you're going to make three blocks on each side of the door and then what you're going to do from there is just join it up with your wall nice and simple and do the same on the other side that's the outline for the coal bunkers or the coal bunker on this side so what we're going to do now is just mark out where your boilers are going to go so I'll come to the end here And it's one, two, three, and then right by another four. And then you're going to do three blocks with a black stone or dark stone, whatever stone you want to use. Just as long as it's dark and it actually looks like the, the boilers. And then I think this is by nine. Yeah, nine. So then what we're going to do from there, what you're going to be wanting to do is this design here. Nice and simple. 
That's going to be the front of the boilers. So you're just going to bring a block out there. And then bring it up by three here. And then bring it back in by one. And then three on the top. And bring it down by one. And then another three. And I don't know how I managed this, but I managed to well and truly bollocks this bit up. I didn't know where I'd gone wrong for a second. And that's when the penny dropped. There we go. So nice and simple. And you're going to want to do the same on the other side of the boiler. So one out, then up by three, in by one, then across by three, down one, and then down another three. And then back in by one. And then from there, you're just going to connect them up. These are actually the smallest boilers that we'll be making. Um, the other ones in the other rooms are bigger than these. Um, and the thing about the next boiler room when we get to it, I'll probably explain it again in the next video. Um, we're going to do it as normal as we've done this one, but when we move on to the deck above, once we've done all the bottom layer and we've done all the engines and stuff like that, and we move up to the next deck, um, there is going to be a slight design change in the next boiler room uh, because we have to make room for the pool. The reason why I'm not going to do the design change as we do the next boiler room is because it just would make it a hell of a lot easier to just do it when we get to that part on the deck to just like get the, the pool in there. Just makes it keeps things nice and simple for these boiler room tutorials. Okay, so now we're done with that bit. What you're going to want to do next is make a hole there and there. Uh, we're going to put a campfire there to just give off a bit of smoke and things like that. And then you're just going to fill in the front. And leave an opening there. Then do exactly the same around this side. It's at this point you can put your campfires in. Just makes them look like functional boilers. Okay, then you can get a, a trap door. And put it on there so next we're gonna grab some buttons I think initially I tried putting the dark ones on but um they didn't really stand out and I didn't like the fact that they didn't stand out they, they probably actually look more realistic but I wanted something to stand out, so I did eventually change over to um, just like a normal stone switch. Because you, you can't really tell that they're there, and the boiler just looked really bland and boring. But they probably did look more like that, to be fair. If you want to keep it at that, that's entirely up to you. But I changed over to these buttons. 
You're only going to be putting buttons on the top three rows. Um, they don't cover the entire boiler. Um, see how much more they stand out? Like I said, the, the dark ones were probably more realistic to what they actually did look like. But I just wanted something to stand out. They'll just look to, the boilers will just look really boring otherwise. Make sure you do that on the other side as well. Make sure you do actually keep your dark buttons in your inventory though, um, because we are going to use just a couple. I know that these boilers that did have like what three openings on them, um, but the design that we did didn't really allow for that, so we just put buttons on the side. But you can use the dark ones for this. So we just we put one there and there. And the next bit, you don't have to do this if you think it doesn't look right or you don't like the look of it. I just wanted to add a bit of um, colour contrast in there. So what I did was put a bit of carpet on these top bits here. This bit's optional. Everything's optional really. I mean, if you're just watching these videos to get a general idea... Um, for your own design, that's fine. You don't have to follow it step by step. I just think they look a bit better with their carpet on top. So moving on now, what we're going to do is do the spacing for the next boilers. So if you come to the bottom of your boiler where you've got these three blocks, what you want to do is count one, two, three, four, five, and then on the sixth block, that's when you do your three dark ones. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's on your eighth block. Yep, the eighth block. You do another three. One, two, three, four, five. And then on the sixth block, you do another three. And that's where your four boilers are going to go. Just do them nine long. I did the rest of the boilers off screen to save time for this video. Um, they're all exactly the same. So get yours put in and then we'll resume the video and you should have all four of your boilers in. There's just one really quick addition to the boilers that you need to put on. Uh, the block that's above the opening there, you just want to replace that with an upside down step. Just gives it a little bit of extra detail. And you want to do that on both sides on all of your boilers. So your boiler room should be looking like this now. So the next thing we're going to do is build the coal bunker up. So grab your smooth stone or whatever block you're using and you're going to want to bring it up. Don't bring it all the way up to the deck like I did there. Um, that's too high up. It probably would be easier to do something that I'm going to do in a second in the video. Because there needs to be space up this bit. So probably what would be easier is coming over to your side walls here. And you knock the first block off. Because you're going to do that. And the white block at the back does need to be there because that's going to be your wall. So replace this first layer of quartz with your, your smooth stone. That's going to be part of your platform. And 
put your white concrete in because that's going to be where your wall is. Then you're going to do your platform by three. There was a, a lot of what you could call dead space in, in this Titanic. Like that bit at the back didn't actually need to be there. So then you come over this way and to make it easier to judge where you're bringing your, your um, coal bunker up to is to just connect it to that. And that's going to be by three as well, that's going to be three wide. So then you just fill the rest of this in. Uh, probably what would be easier um, to do now before you put like your, your roof bit on of these coal bunkers is to grab some coal, you know, blocks of coal and put it inside the, the the bunker. You can do it as random as you like, there's no particular design to it. In fact, you don't even have to do it if you don't want. But we are going to be making small openings in this wall um, because that's where the, the firemen would have I got the shovel and got the coal out of and put it into the boilers and stuff. Now it's just a little extra detail if you want it in there. It would be easier to do now before you close it all in. Okay, so once you've done that, we're moving on to the next side now. You just bring it up to the same height on this side. And you can also fill that bit in in the middle as well there because it's just going to be one long platform. If you come down to where the doorway is, cover it up like that and then just fill this middle bit in. And then we're just doing exactly the same on this side. And this is where I showed you uh, an example of like how to put the coal in and things like that before I finished it off. Like I said, it's entirely optional. But I figure, you know, you, you're building the interior for the Titanic, you want as much detail in there as you can get. So I would think that you would want to do it, but you don't have to. So here we go, the coal's coming out. Like I said, completely random design. You can do it as high up in the bunker or as low down as you want. There is no particular design to it. Just randomly plonk it in there. I was just giving you a quick example here. It just makes it so that when you do the openings for where the coal men would get it out of, you can actually see some coal through there. Just make sure you finish this top bit off when you've done that. And remember to do on this side what you did on the other side, which was to take that top layer out there. and replace it with your smooth stone. And make that three wide as well. And what I was saying about dead space on the other side, 
Um, like there's a lot of space there on that side of the Titanic that gets lost. It's just the way that it, it worked out. So the best way to do this is to face your boiler and then directly behind that is where you're doing your openings. See how that one, we didn't, I didn't put the coal in that one, you can just see straight through it and it's like, well, what even is that? So probably best to actually put your coal in there. And uh, I just finish off the opening with a, a trap door. Choose whichever one you like. And you might be using an entirely different texture pack to us. You might have different ones that might look better than the ones that I've put in. Just finishes it off a little bit. And there you go. And I went over to this side, not realising that I hadn't actually put my coal bunker in. <laughs> We're going to do that now. Uh, it's slightly different on this side, but not by much. So if you come all the way to the side here and on your third block out is where you start your coal bunker and drag it all the way up to the side of the doorway there and connect it up. On this side you want to do it by three and then go across by two and do it by three. Um, there's actually a bit of a doorway there. Um, I William insisted on this being in here because it was on the schematics. Now what it actually is I have no idea. Um, it was just a doorway somewhere. If anybody knows what what that actually is, you know, feel free to let us know in the comments. But I personally have no idea what that is. So all you're going to be doing is doing exactly what you did on the other side. Just remember not to take it up too high, because um, the platform does go all the way around the room. Probably would be easier to do this. Just connect them up at the top, and then you you know how high you're taking that wall then. Same thing again though, um, make sure you put your call in there before you finish it off. I'm not going to put the call in every single bunker because that would just be time consuming. You know what you're doing now, it is really simple. Okay, and for the mysterious doorway you just bring that up as well, just fill that part in. I really do have no idea what that doorway is for but well it insisted that it went in because it was on the schematic <laughs> i don't know maybe it just led into the cold one because but then why does the other side not have one strange okay just make sure you put your iron door down and don't miss putting the pressure plate down like I did in this bit. Or you can use buttons if you want. I mean, the, the pressure plate just makes it easier to just run straight through. You can use buttons as well if you want. Or you might not even need to use an iron door. Um, because we're using the city texture pack, that was the only metal door that we, we really had access to. Um, if you're using a different texture pack and you've got a normal door that you know would do the job, would look fine then you probably don't even need the pressure plates. But if you're using the city texture pack like us, um, that is really the only door that kind of fits in this area really. You don't want to be using a wooden door because it just wouldn't look right. I might start um, adding a little bit of background music into my videos. Um, for portions where I don't quite know what to say um, because when Will's not here I don't really have anyone to bounce off 
And let's face it, he can talk for England. I barely get a word in sometimes. <laughs> so I might just fill in the, the quiet parts with music. I don't know, that's not a definite yet. I just, <clears throat> I don't want the videos being too quiet, that's all. So make sure you do your, your holes, like you did on the other side. Uh, this bit, I came back to. So I came over here and then decided to go back and just place it off slightly to the side. Just like that. And make sure you put your trap doors on. Okay, so that's that bit all sorted. Okay, so next you're going to grab your ladder. And then on the second block in, do it up the wall by eight. That's what the yellow block's been sat there for the whole time. Then get your smooth stone, bring it out by two. And just put it around the ladder like that. And then that's going to be a platform, so it's from one wall to the other. There is a ladder that goes on this side as well, so make sure you do that. So the second block in goes by up by eight and then you just fill your smooth stone in then you can grab some fence and it just finishes that bit off nicely Then you're going to do another ladder there, and that leads just up to the top of your platform there. So I'll leave a, a gap by one block between the ladders. And then basically what you're doing is you're just putting your fence all the way around the platform at the top. In whether this is actually what the the coal bunkers the the coal rooms actually you know the the boiler rooms sorry I don't know if I could get my words right if this is what they actually did genuinely look like but this is just how we interpreted the schematics so make sure you do exactly the same on the other side the ladders go up by eight and then you can make your platform. And then you're just going to fence that off as well. And then your ladders leading up to the platform at the top. Who's messaging me now? Somebody's popular today. Okay, so that's that bit done. now we're going to do the wall so now what you're going to want to do is grab your white concrete or whatever you're using as your wall and then we're going to come right over this way and just do a wall that's too high it just finishes it off nicely Then you can just bring your, your deck over by one. 
starting to look a little bit more finished now. Let's head over to the other side and do exactly the same. And pull the deck over. So what we're going to be doing now is placing some of the lighting in. Um, now you can put the light, you know, the lights wherever you think that they they go best. Um, you don't have to put them exactly where I put them. In fact, I don't even do the entire room. I just give you an idea of how we put them in. Um, I was meant to grab a fence piece there, but I grabbed a gate by accident. Um, but I think I came to this doorway first just to finish this off. Like I said, if you're using the iron door like me, you'll need your pressure plates as well, or, or buttons. So you can place one there, so that you can open that door from the inside. And place another one there, place your door, and then place one there. And you should be able to just run through that straight away, no problem. And you can just finish this bit off as well by replacing the bulkhead with the smooth stone. Another thing as well uh, was the floor. In the original Titanic that we did, we did change the floor in, in these boiler rooms. It's entirely optional. Um, you can keep it as the, the metal flooring if you want. Or you can use smooth stone. I think I tried experimenting with a different block here and it just didn't look right. It's entirely up to you, really. I mean, put your own stamp on it, it's fine. But um, I didn't I didn't change the floor in the video, um, just basically to save time. You can have a look at through your blocks and, you know, think which one might look good. I thought initially that, that that one might look good but it it didn't because you would have had to you know put it in the right direction every time it just would have taken forever. But that could be a good flaw though if you took the time to just place it in the correct direction all the way through. So you can get on with that bit now if you like before you carry on with the video. And how we did the lights, obviously to attach a lantern to the wall, um, we had to put the fence piece in. Um, don't actually do them this low down, do them a bit higher up, because they'll just end up getting in the way. But this room is a little bit claustrophobic. And you can just pretty much randomly put them wherever you think's best. Because, I mean, if if you did finish the in, the exterior from Rich LaRusso's channel, um, all this will be pretty dark for you. So you'll be able to see, you know, how well lit the room is and things like that. I'm just showing you a few places where you could put them. Okay, so once you're happy with your lighting, um, the boiler that's, if you were facing towards the back of the ship, this is the boiler that's on the left of the room. So if you want to come to that one, uh, grab a metal piece and then on the fourth block in, do two there, bring it up by three and do a block on top and then two to the right. And two forward and two to the right two forward six to the right and then connect it up to there so moving on to the next one. So 
So it's four blocks in again, two wide and three up, and then it's an extra one on top. Then you want to go two forward, and then three to the right, and then three forward. And then against the wall, you want to do it six blocks to the right and you want to make it too thick, just like that. So it's actually two by three. This will make sense in a minute. So onto the next one, four blocks in. Do them three high and then your extra block on top. Then you want to go two forward, three to the left, and then two forward. Then you might as well connect it up to the wall as well. Um, this bit does look like it's going slow because I was I was looking at my PS4 because um, I had my other account looking at this. So I was just following it from the screen really, I didn't actually write this bit down. So I was just taking it nice and slow so I got it right for everybody. So on to the last one, so it's four blocks in. Bring it up by three and put your extra block on top. Then it's two blocks to the left, two forward. Then two to the left, two forward, and then six to the left. I know it looks really funny at the minute, but this is basically what led the smoke away from the furnaces and up the funnels. Okay, so next, what you want to do is grab either quartz block or white concrete, whatever you want to use, because we're going to do the funnel casing now. And that's going to connect up to those, what what I call part work. Um, that's going to connect all that up now. So if you come to the left side of the ship, then you want to, going to want to come in by 18. So one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So on the nineteenth block, place one down and bring it back by five. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across, and then just lead it back in towards the bulkhead and then you're just going to fill that in now this is only one half of the the funnel the other half will go on the other side of the bulkhead um, over the next boiler room and basically what you're doing you're just bringing it down to the part work so then it all looks like it's connecting up And that is it, you have completed your first boiler room. So in the next one, um, it's going to be boiler room 5. Uh, the boilers are going to be slightly bigger. Uh, there will be a design change later on in the tutorial. Um, but for now, that's it. I hope you managed to follow along okay. If you're stuck on anything, please be sure to leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, for now... Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next part.